Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. At first, on behalf of Bengal Library Association, I welcome you all in this VLA collaborative webinar uh, 2020 series 9. Today, we have a collaboration with ILEAD, the famous institute uh, in Pathpaka Sexuality in West Bengal. So, today we have uh, very important guests. We have today uh, Dr. Orun Kumar Chakraborty. Uh, Honorable uh, former Director General of National Library and Radha Ramon Rai Library Foundation. And at present, he is the librarian of uh, Bosch Institute, Kolkata. And we have also another famous guest, uh, Dr. Sushantar Energy. At present, he is the University Librarian of West Bengal State University, Barashat. And today's topic is very relevant. That is relevance of books in the age of internet. Uh, Actually, it is our first collaboration with ILEAD. There are so many library staff and including librarian, our direct students. So at first, let us try. Uh, they can join or not. Otherwise, I personally can start. Aishita, can you hear me? Ishita, you can start now. I think there may be a technical problem, so uh, I will start uh, about saying something about ILEAD library. Uh, they maintain a beautiful library. Let us some things about uh, their library, I think. Uh, actually, I live library uh, at Park Circus, and uh, they they have a uh, built on a spreading area over uh, three nine zero zero square foot, and uh, contains more or less one lakh twenty thousand books. Uh, that is quite un um, amazing, actually, and uh, very much unusual. Not only that, they maintain a beautiful city library and also street library. Their beauty, their beauty is a street library. They have installed it. I think. Uh, the last but one year and um, uh, it's a very very important library and uh, the news has been published in our daily newspapers and uh, at present they are using koha library management software and uh, they have maintained so many technical systems because it, it is more or less a special library and uh, not only that the island institutes are very important uh, for the students because they maintain several special uh, actually courses such as uh, they, I, for my knowledge, uh, they have the special uh, journalism lab also. Okay, so uh, not only that, the library maintains uh, several other documents and provides several important services like mobile OPEC, uh, OPEC at 24-7 hours, OPEC at home, and especially email service, telephonic service, and uh, WhatsApp, ser WhatsApp services. So uh, for this, we are very much grateful that uh, they have joined us as a collaborator in this webinar. So uh, for Bengal Library Association, it's a great pleasure. And uh, for this, uh, we welcome uh, ILEAD Library and we want to uh, say about uh, from the library that uh, the participants and the guests uh, should enjoy this particular topic because the topic is very much uh, uh, totally different actually the relevance of book social topic actually the relevance of books in the age of internet and that's all i think about uh, from I I Live library uh, i think uh, that is about i, I Live library uh, ishita you can start now anything you, if you uh, add anything 
so i think there is a problem uh, so uh, now let us introduce our two speaker uh, dr arun kumar chakraborty and dr dr sushant banerji actually why you just uh, select the particular topic the relevance of books in the age of internet it is a very much uh, actually uh, burning topic as well as a controversial topic controversial in the sense uh, somebody uh, tell us or quite often we just say that uh, the future world is the world of internet is the world of technical gadget so what will be the printed book that's the question first so future library will be uh, the library uh, other than printed books uh, that's the very very much debatable questions so uh, what should be the future of the printed books uh, in the age of uh, technological innovation the future library will be the library of technical gadgets or such such as kindle e uh, ebooks or uh, databases etc etc so uh, these questions should be uh, just discussed uh, by the honorable two speakers dr rajin kumar chakraborty and dr sushant banerji and if you have any questions you may ask uh, after their discussion so that we can take your questions uh, to the floor and uh, start the open discussions so let us first try to request dr rajin kumar chakraborty so to say something about this particular topic sir you may start now please uh -huh. uh good afternoon uh today we are really happy to hear in the bla collaboration webinar on relevance of books in the age of internet and today we have also with speaker sushant banerji who is having a great experience and we are really happy to note that the id library which is also part of organizing this program and already our speaker uh, dr jayant uh, dr jayant chand he uh, told about the spoke about the id library so we are really happy to know that this in the park circus institution the library is doing a lot of work that nice to know that so the topic is uh relevance of books in the internet age this is a very very uh difficult topic in this under this scenario uh since long time the people are thinking the relevance of books the books is having a if we say the relevance of books books means uh, both ebooks and printed books so if we say the relevance of books in the internet age that means any resources which is available in a different mode and how we are so whether we are talking about the relevance of book or whether we are talking about the access of the books how this access of media of the book. because all of us know that books not only i started with the um, this it started with the clay and then talpata uh, uh, all this number of throws shown in different format the books have been created and then um, stored but still the writing and the books is there since i think book is there more than 1500 years or more than that 2000 years because in the national library the first books which is Uh, published available is 1457 so that is books are surviving since since 2000 years and now we are talking about whether the books will go off or not so the things which have survived for 2000 years and it has seen there are different devastating stages it came tv radio speaker everything came and the still the book is surviving because it has got a, its own connotation it has got own nature it has got own attractive all these things have been there for since long time when people are love the books because of the different nature different things because there is love and affection with the book completely different in a love and affection with the media things and all because see the comfort zone even uh, we are very much uh in the present everybody is more or less in a tech city so because in a, even even in a village people are using able to use the whatsapp or internet connectivity plus in, 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 even in a uh, difficult village if that's what we need that with a book is there book means say, books are printed or in ebook form because whether we are thinking of the ebooks or cd or the printed books so that that means book is there first of course the book 
book is there and other things are is it relevant to the media that means whether access of books printed book access or whether we are going to access the ebook access or whether we have access the resource access so that is the means or the even the books not only even the journals magazines newspapers all are having a different media we can see that see the newspaper all the newspapers are now available online that means whether the newspaper printing has stopped if the newspaper printing has stopped because it is printed in every day and its printing cost is so much high that the printing has got a different distribution every day morning 7 o'clock why everybody till date looking for a newspaper because the tv is there you are getting news every day within 10 minutes 15 minutes you get the whatsapp uh, what you call notification in your uh, or in a mobile notification any news it comes still the people are reading the newspaper every day every morning uh, uh, six o'clock seven six thirty seven o'clock everybody is uh, pandemic that's why that the new when the newspaper will come any day newspaper is delayed the people are becoming less less so why this that means still the people are like in the printed part that people want to see anything what is available in a printed version even the people who writes authors who writes the books he loves the book his writing to be printed in a printed form he likes to that whether it's available in online or not that is there but still but still they are liking that their collection that books are available in a printed form because if any author publishes for any book any faculty member publishes any books he wants to know that whether his library should have it one copy or not because whenever anybody comes in all then he can see when visualizing the library or in open access library can go and see the book but in a internet age even if you search you may get that book but in the book of the rack in the book which is there in the rack in the book it will be there since long time so that is the advantage of the book because why the people want to see the books in the shelf because the books, they want to see the books in the shelf because they want to see yes my writing whatever it is things i have written that is available in this side. and that is available not for me say if my next generation or my next students or my other colleagues or friends they can come and see the books so they, their happiness is joy and happiness is more on a printed book in any case of this thing printed books has got a different job nothing else what i can tell you that whether the book has got a things or not book has got a joy book has got a different color different printing different smell in the internet to age you can have a different mode of flyer and all still the printed flyer the printed book has got a different connotation the book smell is completely different even in the library the people who knows the book will say are give me that book which is you are not i am not able to tell you that particular book you can see it was a red color book or this some kind of this color of book with this kind of cover page can you tell me i forgot the name of the author given the title please let me know that those can kind of book has got a this kind of information this kind of passion this kind of affection so that's the book things are available sometimes i also feel that the uh, a in a research library they are need a research collections online because the online resources are available on time because anything journals or printed resources printed journals or printed uh, magazines whatever is printing it takes minimum 3 to 6 months to reach on a particular library and if you need if it is in a pandemic situation there is no uh, courier service and all so these printed books for the not reach the people so that is the difficulty of this current situation so that's what but you need a recent information this you need recent information and that is why you are getting the book so that's a different because that means your need kind of need is required for the books so if the book is immediate requirement or journal requirement not thorough reading then the net writing will be on net is very easier so what i say that you see if you uh, you have not much time and fit, but you are hungry 
what you do, you order if some particular food and then you take it. Say even in a lunch time, you may order a burger or something like this and you give the bite and then finish it off. So you do not enjoy that kind of food that much. But when people on Sunday and Saturday, why do people go to the restaurant? Why do people go to the restaurant? Because if they go to the restaurant, they can see not only see the menu, they can feel the ambience and they can enjoy with leisure and the food is being enjoyed. So that means leisurely and enjoying the food and kind of things is being done when you are going to. Same kind of things when you need a particular information on urgent basis, some relevant information immediately is required, you can go to this search in the internet and get the things done. But when you want to read thoroughly or deeply or kind of things, your brain has to be thinking of all that, then you need to go to the library and it has to have a good ambience and you flip up the books and if the ambience is good, you can even for a researcher, you may need a research corner of the books of people so he can go to the research corner and flip up some the books and then read or he can keep the book in place whenever he comes and he can refer the book. So this all leisure and present environment, it can be used for this purpose when your book is available on, but that means how, what kind of need, need based requirement of the resources. If the need is very, very immediate need or something or not depth writing, you will find that, see, the uh, researchers or whoever discovered different things and all, they have, see, even in the, um, the last inauguration program, when the uh, Honorable Prime Minister, he spoke about the national education policy on the uh, on inauguration program of webinar. He also said that now vast and vast of huge kind of information is available, but right information in the right moment availability is very difficult. So that is why the librarian has got the yeah, the librarian has got a role to play. You have to show that yes, we have a strength and opportunity of this one, say, how to reach the exact pinpointed information. That's what also Ranganathan said, that how to get the pinpointed information. Because you will have a huge information and every year, because the information was doubling, six years, seven years, and now it's two and two years, within two years, information is doubling. So how to get to the see all the information and which is relevant, which is not relevant, funding is very difficult. If a book is printed book, you know this book is it authenticated or not. Very easy to find a book whether it is authenticity of the information. Authenticity of information is more and more important. It becomes so that means if we do not know, there are a lot of pedantry pedantry journals are available. So we do not know if you get the information. Sometimes we get information from the net, do not know whether it is correct or wrong or what kind of information is available. So these kind of things are becoming extremely difficult. So in this internet age and all, so you have to understand that when a proliferation of information and all the so much information, how to gather particular information, correct, right information, right time and right size, right size. Because see, if a student he goes to the, uh, he needs the book on a particular his topic. And if he is getting so much information and buoyancy of information, he will only fly or he will only swim. And on the, because the, your tenure of the course is two years, and with this two years of information and uh, tenure, if you search on net and getting information, use, 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 and then finding out which one is the right and deciding on that particular finish is very difficult. So that's why your time was wasted. And then our some more things are coming when the people what uh, they are doing. Say they are doing cut and paste. So the more and more internets are coming, cut and paste search is coming up. But this cut and paste is also not in the internet age because the now there are different softwares have come. They can identify whether this or whatever we have taken is a correct one or not, whether how much it is a plagiarized or it's not plagiarized. Still, I have given many occasions. I told that the legalism software, whatever the software is available, Turnitin, Authenticate, whatever, there are a lot of softwares available. 
but you, this software cannot give you the full proof of this document because see the software only deals with SFC because I've been using the software since a long time. So we've seen that this software can detect the plagiarism maybe last 15 or 20 years of the research paper or whatever available on the net. But there are huge number of books and they are not digitized. Even the books are digitized that contents are not what you call OCR. If the contents are OCR not, then that cannot be reason software is not able to link all these resources. If there's then that's what I'm telling only the English language literature can be traced through this identificate or what kind of software. But if the people we are doing research on Bengali, Sanskrit, Hindi, our other regional different regional languages, so what the identity can do? The, the, so their research will not go through the identity. So that means if you are doing a research or in English and also in the scientific paper, then only it can be checked in identity or others are not. So that means the papers of this has no value, has got a value. So that is why the, those things of checking is possible only by reading up. Because you will find that there is faculty members or scholars who are well read, they flipping through your project or research paper, research articles, they will say that, okay, this one I have seen in these, these, these places. Those kind of things of economic remembrance of all. So that's what we know that how this research is going on on internet age. And I'll leave uh, now want to hear or talk to some humanity. Before that, I just tell one more thing that see in our in a book systems or internet age, this I will not tell that the difficult situation or whatever is what's that happening. We cannot blame the society or user that's for not reading book because the what time is it? In a day, it's a 24 hours. The time has not got 48 hours. In this time, we have to listen some news through TV. Then we have to refer to, we are, most of the people are on WhatsApp, five to six hours, and then internet. So what is the time to reading the book? That is the becoming difficult. And we will find, and we are finding that in Facebook and all, all this, there are lots of, lots of, Fake news and fake people, uh, news are coming through Facebook or through WhatsApp. We do not know which one is correct and which one is not correct. And in, even in a pandemic situation, in a COVID-19, different people are advising you different things. Yes, you do this, you do that, save your life on these things. And people are doing it and trying it. So that is a which one is authentic. Authenticity of people. So this time is taking us all these things. So what is why I want to tell that all these things are dis in our mind. The not reading of this internet age, the people's mind is being disturbed. The concentration of the mind is going gradually down. It has it will uh, we may not be able to see now, but I will tell you that. Within the 10 years down the 10 years time, we we'll find that yes, how much damage we are creating in our mind through this net and all. Because if we do not read the book, this is, I will tell you this is a this is a comparison with the cancer. The cancer is a slow progress. We, sometimes we do not understand when it is happening because we do not know the changes and all. Sometimes there is a some person, one of my friends says, in a cancer, their body clock changes. So that is body clock changes. Sometimes it's good, sometimes bad. Because cancer pain, we do not get the pain. We know that in cancer pain, people have suffered different kind of things. But the pain comes in the last moment. And when nothing can be cured. Like this, in the book stages, once you are stop reading and all, gradually our thinking will go off. Because once this thinking will go off, the new creative ideas will not generate. Because we will find that our SN Sotanath Bose, Jagdishan Bose, everyone they used to read, they used to refer to the books. And this, each book, some of the particular pages, 
they go and got stuck there and they stuck there for days and two nights in a one line or one pair. In that one pair, their research starts. That way, so in the internet stage, we are going through, flipping through, flipping through. So the concentration of the particular area is not going into it. So that we are having a knowledge of 10 miles, but depth is not even a half, one lakh of inch. If the depth is going down, then the search things will not be able to come out. Think that until unless you read the book, we will not be able to go deep into the thinking area. I find even in, uh, in our Bosch library is the most modern library, and everything is available online, it's available in print. I now find that some of the professors who are retiring and all, they say that it's in, in pandemic situation, they are coming and telling, okay, give us some book so that in this situation we can read book because we don't get time. We used to get time during the office hour and all, so now it's, we have to have a time. Some people who are retiring, they are telling, I am going to retire from, from this month and all, whether I will be able to access the book or not, because during my tenure time, we have hardly got much time to read the books. Now we have it. There are a lot of books, good books in the library. I want to, would like to refer this. So those kind of things, that means book lover is there, it will be there, and you see that Book publishing has not diminished at all. The space is increasing, the book fair, people are buying and all, but still the reading habits is quite in the children. If we do not inculcate the reading habits from the school children, then we will damage their brain and it will be like a cancerous once this disaster flow, they will not be able to revive. So we will lose that after a few years, we'll say, even in the after lunar part, that means chinta. The what government is saying that Atamya Bharat means we have to think our own how we implement. So thinking is required. For thinking requirement, we need to refer to the books and thinking of the depth study. So I will stop here and then um, if anything questions are in between is required and come. Thank you, thank you very much for giving me opportunity of um, sharing my some of the concerns, ideas. Of these things. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Jagdeep, Jagdeep Chandra, and the VLA team. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very thank much, you. Dr. Uh, Arun sir, Dr. Arun Kumar Chakraborty. He has pointed out many issues. Uh, the publication uh, industry of book, pub book, book publication is not actually diminishing. And uh, more important is that Bill Gates uh, wrote his own biography in book format. Uh, that's a very uh, beautiful issue, actually. So, uh, sir, please uh, stay with us. Uh, our next speaker will be Dr. Shushant Banerjee. If any question arises, you can answer. Okay. Uh, so, uh, our next speaker will be Dr. Shushant Banerjee. He represents the university librarian of West Bengal State University. So, he will discuss something about the topic. So, sir, please start. Um, I was seeing KPM, sir, my teacher and was very happy that he will be in the webinar. Unfortunately, uh, it was not possible due to connectivity problem. So thank you, sir, for being here. Thank you, Dr. Jayadeep Chando, for inviting me to this webinar. My favorite dada, Urunda, who is here. Uh, one of my professors of my university and other participants. Um, the participants from ILEAD. Fortunately, I had uh, uh, opportunities uh, uh, to visit ILEAD library at least two, three times. Uh, I know that library personally and have seen uh, their activities also when I visited that library. So uh, it is really one of the best um, uh, academic libraries in the city. Very well designed and very attractive. Very welcoming, a lot of books are there. So that way, this library is really good. Now, coming to the topic, relevance of books in internet era. You know, it seems to me like a, like a comparison between an apple and an orange. Because books are books, whether it is uh, 
in the form of uh, hardbound or Kindle. So it is books. And um, internet is internet. So there is no comparison between books and internet. Books where there is there will be there. Human civilization, we cannot even think without books. So it will be there. The difference between the almost right, the difference between the almost right world and the right world is really a large matter. It is the difference between the lightning bug and the lightning, said Mark Twain. Books are the vehicles of knowledge, wisdom, and creative minds. Every author has to say something. A book is a result of years of research, which not only augments our imagination, it also adds to our knowledge and introduces us to different kind of writing st styles. So, having said that, let us see the reading habit of some some people, those uh, who are the names in the world, especially uh, successful people from all walks of life, read a lot to enhance their knowledge and expression. Without reading books, they cannot enrich themselves uh, with knowledge and they cannot express your expression, your um, uh, uh, dialogue, your comments, talks, whatever you do, it depends upon how much you read, how much you know about the subject you are talking about. So any person who is successful in life has to read a large number of books. That is important. So as I said, it is uh, it is like a comparison between an apple and uh, uh, and an orange. Here it comes again. A book and internet, we cannot really compare. Internet is a vast source of information, whereas books, it is it is a it is a, co a coincise form of information on particular subject, topic, a novel, a travel guide, or whatever it is. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was one of the voracious reader who confessed that he could develop a good character and personality because of his good reading habits. Say, Nehru and Mahatma Gandhi, who are also devoted to books, Gandhi's turning points in life came because of books by Leo Tolstoy. Thinkers like Swami Vivekananda read a lot and could therefore influence the world at a young age. Former US President John F. Kennedy was a dedicated reader. He read almost all the books, all the works by Winston Churchill. He was injured during the sec Second World War. And you know, the people who, who used to visit him at the hospital, sometimes they could not see him because he was surrounded by piles of books around his uh, pillow at the hospital. So that was the, the, they are the people who used to read books all the time. Even Winston Churchill, whose book influenced our uh, John F. Kennedy, he himself had read hundreds of books in his life. During the Second World War, when he was the Prime Minister of Great Britain, he read many books. His world views were shaped by his reading habits. Books are not only a good way to pass time, but also help, help us in developing a good character and how to remain calm under stress. That is really important in today's society. Keeping calm, keeping quiet, not to say anything, uh, uh, and keeping mum, that is really important in today's society when we all are stressed. Again, what Mark Tully said, it is better to keep your mouth closed 
and let people think you are a fool than to open it and remove all doubts. So there we are. You know, book helps you to think, to realize, to uh, keep you calm and uh, you know quiet when it is really necessary. But today we live in a disruptive and distracting world. In the last 40 years or so, the world has changed so much that we could not even think that it will be changed so much. The progress in computers and communication technology has made this possible. The most important impact has been that we have much more information that we can handle. This has affected our attention span and our ability to actually absorb and analyze things properly. We are under tremendous pressure because of this information overload, as said by Dr. Uh, Chakraborty. Lot of information. We do not know which one is correct, which one has to take, which one not to take. For example, if I give an example, very you know burning example. Today, uh, the age of you know <laughs> I should say COVID age. It is going on all over the world. Every day you will be getting one or the other information through uh, different uh, medium. So you need to find out which one is right, which one is wrong. So that gives you a lot of pressure, stress. So this kind of information explosion, overloading our uh, explore, uh, information makes us stressed. Uh, makes us tensed. So there it is uh, important to find out the right information which comes through different medium which are not books of course. Television, internet, cell phones, mails and social media are snatching our valuable time. We get information. We get a lot of information rather but not retainable knowledge. This is very important remarks. We get information. Throughout the day, you get a lot of information. If you see, once you are in your WhatsApp, you get a notification from somewhere else. Once you are in uh, your in YouTube, you get a notification from some other source. You are in your email, you get another notification from some other source. So which one you see? Which one you believe? So we get information but not retainable knowledge, which, which, which will be retained for a long period of time for the betterment of the society or humankind. So there we are. At the same time, the world is moving. World is moving, as I see, towards disruptivity. You know, I was working in an organization before joining um, uh, West Bengal State University. I used to be advised to have a disruptive library service. I used to think, what is disruptive library service? Why? What is disruptive library? What is disruption? Why disruption? Which means this disruptive service means new innovation and ideas which break the existing norms and create avenues for new methods of doing business. Creating products that do tremendous value addition. It says this disruptive service, it will, it will uh, remove, it will replace the existing service and will have tremendous effect on the way you do your business. That is disruptive uh, service or disruptive uh, uh, way of uh, working. So it was, if it is, if we, in, uh, you know, implement it in the library, I do not know how it works. New concept comes, disruption, disruptive library services, disruptive information services. The, we can do it. Yeah, disruptive library service, it will replace the 
uh, old thoughts it will uh, replace the um, um, existing thoughts and will give a value new blood to the service but at the same time you need to think that this new thoughts with which comes with disruption disruptive library service will not exist for a long time question is why why it will not exist for a long time because this uh, new disruption or disruptive service will be re will be replaced by another wave of new disruptive service so how many waves you can implement in your uh, library so there comes the relevance of books books were there books are there as i said in the beginning it will be there you do not have to change the books it will be there services can be changed the form of services can be changed internet um, it is changing uh, so many other things are changing so but at the same time disruption should not be uh, the disturbance of the readers which is also happening uh, nowadays because disruption means we, 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 we somewhat we understood some some places that the readers those who are there it is not important that we have to give them a quiet and calm area to read but, but we will do other things also together maybe a movie show or some something some quiz or some events in the library so that is called disruptive uh, uh, library services which which again i say that can be uh, replaced that would be replaced rather in a few years of time so with this context let me give you some examples um, in in real scenario it is true that um, the book reading habit is declining purchase of books is declining all over the world not only in india but all over the world it is it is of course true uh, if we take an example of kolkata book fair i was seeing the statistics of sale of books in kolkata book fair and could find that almost 20 percent decline in sale of books in last four years that is from 2016 to 2019 2016 in kolkata book fair the total sale of books uh, worth was rupees 25 crore it was in 26 27 it was 20 crore 20 2018 it was 17 crore and 2019 it was 18 crore so it is a sharp decline of 20 uh, 20% of the total sale of books in kolkata book fair i uh, occasionally or you know frequently used to visit partner um, due to my official assignments and of course when i i, I was in part i used to be in partner i used to visit some um, bookshops one of the best bookshops in Patna is Book Palace. So while visiting that uh, bookshop, I used to talk to the um, owner of that bookshop. While talking, one such uh, while discussing with him in a fine uh, evening, he told me that last two decades, book sale in that particular bookshop has declined by sixty percent. So that you have to accept that book reading as well as book um, sell both has declined. But that doesn't mean that book will be replaced by internet. Sometimes I look harsh, you know, when I say that we librarians are also responsible for this. We have a lot of duties to see that the books are there. That is our main job. If books are not there, only internet, that where do you go? We librarians, where do you go? We are not for, you know, internet or big, big techno technological jargons nowadays. We feel very uh, proud of using technology jargons in different uh, seminars and workshops, saying that, I, you know, to prove that 
I don't know what to prove, but we, 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 we do that um, using different technological terms and, uh, you know, avoiding uh, using uh, the name of the books. That, uh, that says so many things. That says so many things. So we are, we are the people. We need to promote books. We need to promote books. That is important. Um, instead of uh, promoting, I should not say we should not promote because we have to accept the challenges. We librarians, we, all, we always uh, say that we are uh, jack of all trades, master of none. So we have accepted all changes. We know how to accept change. We know how to implement change. We know how to use changes. So these changes are coming, you are accepting. But at the same time, our main business is surrounded by books. Books are our product. When we, when we are the librarians, books are our product with other uh, uh, you know, instruments or whatever, associated instruments that we need to keep in our mind. So that is the, um, I was mentioning about the decline of reading, decline of sale of books in, um, in two cities. Patna is very close to us. And of course, in Kolkata Book Fair, one of the largest book fairs in Asia that you all know. Now, in the contrary, I don't know whether I should say fortunately or unfortunately, in the contrary, number of internet users has increased almost double in last five years in India. In last five years, the number of uh, internet users has increased almost double. I have a figure for that. 2016, it was 34.26 crore, 34.26 crore Indians used to have internet facility. But in 2020, it went up to 60.67, so it is almost double. When book reading is declining, use of internet has increased almost double and that you have to accept we are the librarians we have to accept this fundamental truth if we do not accept then it will be a problem but at the same time we need to promote our books that i will tell till i end my you know lecture today on an average um indians spend 1.4 hours a day for reading. That is one hour 40 minutes a day for reading. On an average, Indians use 1.4 hours, one hour 40 minutes a day for reading. While 3.44 hours for, you can guess, watching television and 2.4 hours for social networking. You know what social networking? Either Facebook or throughout the day we do, I don't know what, um, that uh, WhatsApp chat. So this is the scenario. I have given all five figures. First figure is declining book um, sale in India. The second figure was uh, increase of internet uh, usage in India. Third figure is how much we read, uh, that is 1 hour 40 minutes, the reading habit in India, 3.44 minutes watching TV, and 2 hours 40 minutes for social media network. Now, having said that, a decade ago, or maybe two decades ago, I should not say a decade ago. 20 years ago, if someone said that he or she had not read a Tagore or Tolstoy, that person was looked down upon by others. Oh, to me, Rabindranath Paroni, to me, Janona, Rabindranath Chodogalpo, Othaba, Sorochandra Paroni, Eva Amradekta. There was a strong sense of accountability and responsibility among the youth because 
as i mentioned in the earlier that they that that reading of books used to create this responsibility and accountability among the youth that doesn't mean that i am saying the youth today doesn't have the accountability or responsibility but it was there in um 20 years back but with the gradual advent of globalization and nuclear family structures that i say everywhere nuclear family structure me my wife and my son and a dog my son or daughter or a daughter and my dog that is nuclear family when we used to have our joint family culture since i come from a joint family i know the value of joint family i grew up in a joint family a big joint family where in the evening a grandma like personality from my village she used to come with a hurricane to my home we all brothers and sisters used to be surrounded uh, by her and used to listen her lot of you know stories not necessarily from a book but her story what she used to be about bhoot about lot of other things ghosts lot of things so that used those stories helped us you know going for reading some books where are those those days now there is no time for the mother neither for the mother or or, or the father both of us are working most of the cases so children are not encouraged not getting chance to or uh, opportunity to read books when they are alone they have the you know remote in their hands that is the weapon they have in their hands or nowadays we are giving them bribe as bribe um, you know android mobile and he or she does whatever he likes or she likes in that mobile so that way reading habit is you know growing down down and down day by day life has become mechanical and money oriented we run behind money and our life become really mechanical students are under constant pressure from class you know i don't know whether from class 1 nowadays it says uh, play school we never had that in our lifetime in our childhood there was no play school we used to play on the um, field you know barefoot running here and there that was our life but now students are constant pressure for performance tumake first hotei hobe omuk barir x 98% peche tumi pabe na keno so students are under constant pressure for performance and the concept of intrinsic value addition is now a long lost idea i don't know whether all of you those who are participants in this webinar will agree with this you know a bit strong comment but i strongly believe this by heart in an age where browsing the internet playing with cell phones and sending sms and whatsapp uh, whatsapp messages to be the order of the day reading a book in a peaceful corner of a library has become an archaic idea for most of the people that comes the last reading of a book when is the time because once as i said once i am doing um, you know whatsapp chat another option another thing is waiting for me to do that up to 1 o'clock 2 o'clock 3 o'clock in night even whole night we do chatting none of us uh, will uh, uh, can disagree with this comment so where is the time to it that we need to think growing use of television and internet facilities and especially social media that includes facebook twitter whatsapp instagram etc i don't know so many other forms are also there i i i am used to i know at least if you not used to i know at least facebook twitter whatsapp and instagram have also resulted in the decline of book reading habit have also resulted it says i am saying it resulted heavily in book reading habit it is not the students are not acquiring knowledge 
we cannot say that the students are not acquiring knowledge they are not uh, intelligent enough but they browse internet instead of reading books students are intelligent they are very smart they know almost everything in this world now but through which medium through internet instead of books they don't go to books because book if you have, if you go to get that authentic information which is there in a book it takes time where is the time they do not want to wait for the time they want it instantly like burger or pizza or whatever instant everything instant so there it is so they are intelligent they know subjects but through internet not through books earlier you know in our age i should say when we are in uh, we are the students we used to read some novels at least uh, i don't know i read almost uh, i should not say almost many uh, of the novels of almost all the bengali uh, authors people used to read uh, mostly novels fictions now there is more demand for non fiction you know why here also it comes career first pressure peer pressure pressure from the family pressure from the society pressure from your siblings <coughs> so people used to read fiction those days when we were in a same family um um uh, joint family culture now there is more demand of non fiction particularly career oriented books students want just to pass the examination and secure a job there is no second thing i have to i have a target this is my target i have to go there for that whatever i have to do i have to do some coaching classes first of all you do lot of coaching institutions are there now and it is growing every day like uh, you know masturbing every day so students just go to uh, just uh, just uh, want to pass an examination and secure a job therefore they study only such materials which are needed for completing a particular course where will where will we get the time to read other books that's what book reading is declining so what is the solution what is the solution now we have both one as um, uh, dr chakraborty said again i mentioned which form books are read that is true which form in which form is it uh, is it hard bound books which we used to get the smell you know when you used to get a new book the smell of a book was so good it used to give us so, such or rather it gives still it gives us such a pleasure where whether we used to whether we want to read that book or a kindle you know sometimes uh, it creates problem uh, it says um, download failure or there is no power so you have to put on you know for a uh, charge or something um would you like to read a book a novel in a computer in a kindle in a tab or you want to read a book in its original form that is the book hardbound book or a paperback book that is the question people will read books though it is declining and there it comes our responsibility it is a responsibility of we librarians as i said we feel proud of using some jargons technical jargons everywhere digital library hybrid library uh, i don't know what not um, uh, so many other terms um, so many i don't know um, different seminars and places i go i heard, i keep on hearing lot of new terms that is being used by us uh, we library professionals and we feel proud of uh, using those terms but though i worked to very um, uh, before uh, before this organization before this university i worked 
to a very advanced library and this one also uh, is going to be a very advanced library and it is also already an advanced library where I'm working now. Uh, I feel proud to be surrounded with books and uh, uh, I don't say that technology should not be there. It is, it, it has to be there. Books, uh, instead of writing in a, uh, in a um, uh, copy, your name, your class, phone number, that and this and issue a book, it is always better that uh, books are issued through computer and receive through computer. You can reserve your book through computer. You have some, or rather if permits, your fund permits, you should have a lot of digital resources, internet facility, but everything should be with books. You should have a rack full of books in the library. <clears throat> so that has to attract there is no second question. People will be attracted. Students will be attracted towards those books if you have books. So if we think that line, I am sure no one can replace books with internet. Now I have some, I have jotted down some uh, guidelines or rather what we should do for, you know, to come out of not having a seminar or talk like this. Um, again, I should. I feel. I, I feel that we will not have a talk like this. We are librarians. We should have a talk that relevance of internet in the age of books. That 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 we should uh, we should think. So in that case, introduce the students to simple, easy, and interesting books, so that they don't get put off or discouraged in the beginning. One can start with comics or storybooks, which are light read, right? So this is important. Let us talk to the parents of small children and request them, I should say, request them to read some books at bed when the child goes for sleep, you know, before sleep at least something to read to them. Let every student buy some bo books for his or her own and take pride in making his personal library. Let us encourage that. I'm sure if we try, that is possible. Involve parents and tell them to buy books for children and even their friends on occasions like birthdays or festivals. I still remember uh, we used to write Omuker Shubho Porinoe. We used to write our name and give that book as a gift in marriage. Or his Shubho Poitake Poitate Uponoyone, this book gift from this uncle that was our gifts those were our gifts in our in our childhood even i should say younghood also we used to give books but i do not see that culture anymore anywhere nowhere a book is given i don't see at least now um, books are uh, considered as gifts let us encourage again we librarians that the books should be given as as gifts in birthdays, in marriages, in whatever. Buy fiction and self-help books for the school library. These should be of different genres like story, mystery, biography, thrillers, and so on. This makes interesting reading. Make book reviews a part of your curricula. Give books as prizes instead of other gift items. Nowadays, you all know that the gift is a gift coupon for to pantaloons or I don't know, uh, somewhere, something, uh, uh, some shopping mall. But instead of doing that, we can give books as prizes in all our programs. At least we can start that in all our programs as prizes 
to uh, the winners. Make bookshops trips a part of field work where children can go and spend half a day in a good bookshop. That would really help encourage students uh, for reading. Encourage online buying in cheaper and easier form. We cannot avoid, as I said, internet we cannot avoid, technology we cannot avoid, technology has to be there. So uh, encourage people buying books through online. So these are the things, at least minimum things we can do for the society to make sure that, again I say, this kind of seminar, we can have a reverse uh, title of this seminar, not maybe uh, very near future, but years to come, um, where we can say the reverse title of, of this seminar. Now I'll conclude with one of the famous quotes of Einstein, he said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. He said, if you want your children to be intelligent, read them fairy tales. If you want them to be more intelligent, read them more fairy tales. That was Albert Einstein. With his philosophy and with a lot of hopes, uh, as I said, to see a diverse title of the seminar, if not near future also, from um, Dr. Joydeep, and I would be really happy if I am still, if, if I'll be there the, uh, till that, to be a part of that seminar and talk uh, happily. Thank you very much for listening to me. I am really proud to uh, join uh, to any program organized by BLA because it gives me back my fond memories of my students' days in BLA in 1989 or 90, uh, something in the, those, any of these years. So thank you once again, all of you, for uh, your time. Thanks to Joydeep for uh, inviting me. Thanks to Arunda for giving such a wonderful insight. Thanks to Eilid. I know Eilid is doing, doing really, uh, which I didn't, I forgot to mention a really wonderful job, which was mentioned by um, Joydeep already. I know they have already um, 16 street libraries, uh, uh, not 16, 14 street libraries. First one was inaugurated in um, one of the parks in um, South Kolkata. And they have now, street libraries in Newtown and other places also. I'm aware of that. I have seen one or two of those libraries. So they are really doing a wonderful job. And their chairman, um, I was expecting him also to be here um, because I have seen his name. Um, he is a avid reader and a book lover. And uh, he himself, uh, if you go to their website, you can see he himself requested people to donate books for these um, libraries. I do not know how many of you know about this concept. So let me share a few, uh, just a few seconds about that. The concept is books are there. There is no rules, regulations, formalities, anything. Anyone can come over there, take a book, read the book, and return the book. That is the, that is the um, uh, philosophy of, uh, of this uh, uh, street library. And it is really running well. It is not that the books are vanished. Uh, people are uh, taking the books. They are reading it and replacing it back. And some people are um, donating their book, you know, uh, silently. There is uh, there is uh, nothing to acknowledge or give acknowledgement letter or something. So chairman himself requested people um, that please donate and be a part of this great mission. So thanks to ILEAD also and thanks to BLA for associating with such a good organization. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Jadeep.
Uh, actually, there is a huge, uh, huge connectivity problem in my side. Okay, but I just uh, follow your lecture. It's a nice one, and the topic should be re reversed according to your opinion. That is the uh, relevance of internet in the age of books. Nicely said, you. So uh, we have now several uh, some questions actually. So, so uh, let us start uh, question answer session. I think Dr. Arun Kumar Chakraborty is there. Yeah, I yeah. can see yes, the yes, 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 yes. There and there. Okay, 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 okay. Hello. Okay, I, I just start. Just the questions. Uh, mainly the appreciation comments. Just a minute, sir. It is a question. Changing reading habits of the users in the internet age. What should as librarian we do to protect them? Anyone can answer. Arunda, please. <laughs> Uh, changing the reading habit. Uh, what is the question? Changing the reading habit. Uh, one by uh, again, you display just uh, changing the reading habits of users in the internet age. And what should librarian do to protect them? See, uh, already in the discussion, uh, Dr. Um, Shushanta Banerjee spoke that uh, the we need to inculcate reading habit the users. That is most important. Anything the librarian cannot force or take anything. You see, anything you want to promote or see books like you want to promote, that it will give a backtrack. So better that people should know what is available and then how to evaluate them. You just tell, give them every information. Don't give them compare kind of things. Say if you give it, somebody is searching on internet and all. If you have a good book on that, you just place him to, to him. And if he likes it, and then he will again take it. So it's not that if you say that you don't read it and you do this, that, because we have a, always a habit of that. If anybody says you do to anything, no, we will do that one vehemently. Uh, yes, because it, it is a human nature opposing things. And uh, do you think opposite? So, better that okay, sir, you are looking for a internet, you are getting this information. Sir, I have also this kind of information. If you like, you can read it or just leave it. So, keep it doom, they say. So, that way, just you have to promote that way. It's not that you tell them this is good or bad or what. Only you can have a, some kind of discussion to promote that. See, yes, these people have read some kind of things. And more that the librarian, if you want to do, he has, if he says it will not do because if the Mithaiwala says that my sweet shop, every business sweet is very good, you come and use it. It has to be said by public. So that means the more repeat user you call them, the user a uh, discussion forum or book reading habits on places, ask them to read some books or give some benefit of that book. Just like uh, yeah, uh, Dr. Jai organized the programs. That's our um, yeah, Shaman Chakravarti, who has given a very good and uh, delivered a very good lecture because he is a vivid, uh, Professor Chakravarti is a very, very vivid leader and he gave a very good idea. So, if we those people say yes, what benefit they got and how this thing, then only can work. Librarian promote is that librarian job, librarian is actually middleman. He our job is to make the connection between the reader and user. So we, and then the user group. So we, from user group who are very good, maybe user, we call them, ask them to read and tell the people to read more. 
That way, you can build the five million. Five million has to make the more connections. Is it okay? Yes. I think there is a question to Dr. Sushant Banerjee. Please How go to the screen. Kindle interest and joy of regular reading. Will the gadgets like Amazon Kindle Fire will supplement the interest among students? Yeah. Um, Kindle is something uh, I do not know. Uh, you are from which organization, of course, but it is in uh, in Kolkata. Um, I am sure Orunda will also agree that it is not that popular is, uh, still. Kindle culture, if you can promote, yes, they will. Uh, they will be really interested, and uh, I think fifty thousand books we can download um, in Kindle. So, but you have to see. Um, which kind of books should be downloaded so that you can create inculcate reading habits among them. As I said, you need to see the philosophy, psychology of the students. That is important. We need to see what kind of books this guy or, or the person wants to read. So accordingly, you install or download books in Kindle. And this is a very handy, uh, you know, equipment, very, very good, you know, very slick, small equipment, and looks all look wise also good. So you can uh, definitely promote Kindle, but of course, along with hard copy of books. I am not going from there. Hard copy of books has to be promoted with Kindle. I am fine. So give them Kindle, see their interest. We cannot give them food as per our choice. We have to give them food as per their choice. So that is important nowadays. See, one thing I just emphasize. Uh, see, in Kindle, no, in Newton Smart Library, uh, in this many plant, so we have it around 15 Kindles. And then we have made also that the people can borrow the Kindle also. The yep. Kindle itself can be uh, borrowed. And, but what happened in Kindle, if you want to download the books, you have to have a subscription of particular there. And here, the subscription of the Kindle collection and all is also very, very costly. That's it what I said. That which organization should belong, he or she belongs. Exactly. To. exactly. It depends upon which organization. As you said, you are right to say that the Kindle is promoting, but it's not that you are getting like that. In a public library, you can get a free public uh, books, but it's not Kindle is like that. So that is the thing. You are rightly pointed out. Kindle culture is okay, but this is that. Okay, next. Increase the reason. Yeah, this question is for whom? I think Dr. Chocolate is the answer. Please. <laughs> See? <laughs> Uh, from the beginning itself, I always, in all occasions, say that the reading habits should start from the school. Until unless, so in, but, uh, in Bengali, there is a uh, proverb, Kachayana Nuhale Bash, Pakhai Kwari Bash. So, so if we do not start reading habits from the schools, that will not uh, inculcate. And we have, we, saw, we have seen that the people who have who have a very, very vivid user or reading habits in school level, they are still, it is, they are carrying it. And you find the people who are studying, they were taking the school level in PA, whatever books they are reading, you'll find those people are still, they are reading it. Because I, in my son, uh, he is reading very uh, vivid uh, reader. And then I saw his friend, he is having his own library, 30,000 books. He's just he's also a lawyer and he's 30,000 books on his own. And then he reads the books when he's on the toilet also. I was just really, I mean, as a librarian, I was very happy to see that the people, how much interested in reading the books. And the school level mostly all uh, are related to their always in the school. And then the school level culture, I think it will improve. National education policy, we have to do that one. 
how can school life bring us health when students shun books and uh, come only because of library period? See, until and unless we make library centric education, this is not going to what we want to see the library that everybody will come and use the library and books and all. It's not possible unless the library centric education. Library centric education means if the teacher gives yes, uh, one uh, assignment or whatever homework they give, and they will say that yes, go to your library and read them, refer some books and things. So until I always promote, Vane, it is my personal opinion that until unless you make an open book reading, now open book examination, it's not good. I feel that open book examination is very, very important because see, in our lifetime, whatever, whatever we are doing, so we have to, even if I write a note, we have to refer so many things. So that means in a smaller time, if somebody can write a good note on this, after referring the book and all, that means he has, has to read first. See, every time we keep it a markup and all, keeping is not good for the reading habits. So that's the, the system, education systems and all, it has to be like that. The, the markup system should go and then more and more reading habits to be inculcated with this kind of facility. But with that, that I, I would like to give my two cents. That is, you know, librarian's position in a school or a college or a university, I find it is a neutralized position. Exactly. That means exactly. he or she is a person who is for all, from class 1 to class 12, right? He is or she is belong. So what he can do or she can do, she can promote herself along with the library. For example, she can arrange a quiz competition. She can arrange a debate competition. She can arrange a extempore competition. She can celebrate a day, a specific day in the library. By that way, she can make or he can make himself or herself popular to that particular school and makes himself very popular among the students. Because he will exactly. be the person, he will be the person for all the classes, and he can, or she can be so popular that maybe next to no next to he, even the principal or the headmistress, headmistress of the school. So popularity making is very important. He should or she should make her presence in that particular organization so that students know that librarian very well and follow her advice and follow her the way even life what the way she does so she has to be proactive and be students friendly be you know public friendly then only uh, the importance comes importance will not be given exactly. freedom is not given. importance is not given that has to be yes, clear. That is my uh, are, actually that is the issue because i want to raise or point out uh, yes. some two points actually uh, actually, two incidents. One of my juniors working in uh, a school, as a school librarian in uh, West Midnapur district. And after he is joining his duty, he tried to promote uh, books among, her, among his students. But first resistance came from the guardians. Guardians made a deputation to the headmaster, uh, told that uh, the uh, librarian promote too much books to the students. Uh, so they are more interested about book reading, not uh, the common reading, day to day reading. That's the first issue, number one. Yeah. Very peculiar issue in West Midnapur. Uh, practical issue, actually. And uh, uh, another uh, uh, point is that, uh, according to Dr. Sushanta Manarji, a librarian should take part in the regular college administration. If it should not be that anyone can give any kind of uh, say status to the librarian librarian if the librarian only confined within the library then it is not possible that the student community and teachers community will give the status will give the every mm. just requirement, fulfill the every requirement to the librarian that's the issue and we should maintain it uh, keeping our the dignity of the post we can just do other work of the college or the university or the uh, actually, the school. That's the issue, I think. Next question is that. Uh, 
That's the environmental issue. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting tea is a problem uh, for uh, publication of book, it's an issue, but it should not be that uh, due to cutting of trees, uh, e-book will replace the traditional books. I think it should be the answer. I don't think, I don't think it, it is, it is, I know, book, uh, you know, cutting tree, it was there all the time. If you are cutting tree, we are, we are, we are now very, uh, very, very, you know, uh, concerned about planting trees also. That is also happening, you know. If there are two trees fallen, it was not there earlier, but people are very cautious about fallen exactly. tree or cutting tree or something. Try to cut one tree in your locality, see how many people you know, resist <laughs> you to do that. So that way, if there is cutting of trees, there is planting of trees also. So that will not uh, be an issue of publishing of books. I am sure Arunda will agree with me. Yeah, exactly. This is not yeah. at all relevant for yeah. us. Uh, yeah. I feel that cutting tree is not related at all with this yeah. Yeah. because the book uh, never destroys the human these things. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Sushant Banerjee, please answer. Yeah, I told you already, you know, book reading, book reading, if you think it has to be only related to book, then we are wrong. I don't know. You are. Are you from a college or a school? Uh, my answer will be accordingly. Um, is she from a college or a school? I don't know. We don't Anyhow, know. Huh? we don't know. Okay. Do you have the So, if you are from a school, then you can have uh, small programs for the students and um, say quiz contest. Nowadays, um, just a minute. Uh, it says jam. Uh, that is also very very interesting program. But it is not for junior students. It it can go up to class twelve. You can have some celebrations of um, say music day, world music day, world uh, book reading day, uh, book lovers day, librarians day. So many things you can do. So these kind of small things, not necessarily that you have to think a very big thing for your you know, for your library, if you're a school librarian. But if you are working in a college or a university library, you have options, your options are more because there are a lot of issues in the society now. For example, women related issue, women empowerment related issue. You can have a program because as, as I said, you are a neutral, you are, because if you're in a university or college, a department, say, for example, mathematics, does a program on women empowerment, does it, does it suit with uh, mathematics team because mathematicians are related to mathematics. But if a librarian does a program on mathematics, at the same time, a program on women empowerment issue, it is fine because he is, uh, he is uh, in a liberal single post. So that way, if you're in a college, you can celebrate women's um, uh, day that is 8th uh, of march every year then um, i don't know what not a lot of other things a uh, lot of uh, say victims there are social issues related to social issues you can do programs yeah in addition to doing programs on book reading so focused group meet that is another important program we uh, i used to do in different places focus group meet is nothing but but asking your students to come and join. So, for example, first day you can invite your management students. Let them come and say what they want actually from your library. You, you do not know what they want. When they come and tell you, then you can develop your function according to your essay. One day you can That is important program. You can always do focus group meets for your focus group meets for your people. Um, and help them. That will attract your students. You can ask them. Even I have seen that also. You can ask the students to do some work for your library. They'll be happy to do that work for your library. Something or the other. So these kind of things you can do. For no, quiz, of course, is a you know, you know old concept. Is not. It is going on everywhere. Debate competition on different topics as per the topics you can do. So this way you attract the students. To your library 
not only you know go and find out a book a book reading session uh, chat with the author you have to come out from that concept that i am only centered with books i cannot go out of books so you do programs on books as well as non programs not related with books that will attract the students and they will get um interest more importantly i should say that you should be very very public friendly that is important students friendly when the students find you that you are friendly to them not with a you know big face always and showing that i am the librarian or i am the library director or whatever then they will come to you and they will have their questions and they will clarify their doubts so that has that is important first and foremost thing you should be students friendly uh madam from nigeria i think more or less same query uh, of the previous question uh, dr chakraborty can you add something or just we leave it oh we have already told the physical books and e books are taking over physical books not taking it's in, uh, already dr shushant also explained that we are not taking anything physical books and e books is going parallel it depends upon the people need those who are willing to read uh say scientific community who are more on scientific literature go for the e books or e journals even they do it if they, they, if for any present reading or anything they are also going to the book reading so it is not it's a it's a blend so people whoever is read best they are doing it i i don't think so anything is going on there there is no um, for me i don't find this not a competition of the reading e books or Journals and the uh, printed books. So I feel that that uh, it's not a competition. It has to be coexisted in the, because in the media things it has to be coexisted. I consider it is a value addition. Value addition, exactly. Yeah, it's a value addition. Doctor Sushant, my dear, this is for you. To increase reading habit from school or public library, Sushant sir. <laughs> No, no, I don't think government has to play a role. It is your duty, really, really, really. Please, no, government cannot play a role. You have to innovate. You have to be innovative. Government appointed you uh, as a librarian to promote reading amongst your students. You cannot expect government to come and guide you how you promote. You are the expert in the field of librarianship, so you should know. how to promote your books in that case there are senior librarians like dr chakraborty you can always talk to him and find out some guidelines but i am sure government will not be should not also i i, I think should not also interfere in your day to day job so you will not also be happy with that so you have to be innovative creative and again i say and emphasize on this particular statement that you have to be students friendly that is very important students should be your strength and once your students are your strength then you can organize lot of programs and your library will be really really popular in your school so start thinking from today how to be innovative how to be creative how to promote your your goal and objectives in your library and come out please come out from the concept that you are a librarian so you have to deal only with books not only with books you have a lot of other things to do you can do to promote your books or readings in your particular institution i think government will support but uh, you should yeah, exactly. okay thank dr chakraborty should come in Uh, uh, should uh, comic books be introduced to enhance learning with enjoyment? Yeah, that's coming. It is already there. Comic books. Whoever wants to read is already there in the public. Book public. Uh, that should be there. Is so there is no harm reading of comic books or anything. It's always welcome. It's always welcome. In fact, you must do it if you have money. Again, I should say, I do not know exactly. your from organization. So, for example, if you want to buy a set of tin tin, it will cost you around eight thousand rupees. So, do you have the money to buy that? Buy it and see the result. Immediately, it will vanish. Immediately, it will vanish from your life. Ah, as a rupees, it's a must. It's a must. It will help. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Doctor Ganesh. 
Art library, it is an oh. art library. Uh, how to do reading in an art library? Oh, what? Yeah, That's sort of. It is. It is. It is more yeah, easy for you, I think, because arts and books, uh, this goes very well together. So, <laughs> when is the art gallery? You can have <laughs> uh, invite some artists and. Um, uh, do a art workshop in your library. Again, I will say, I do not know your infrastructure. That is important. Your infrastructure has to support this kind of programs. Because when I was working in, in, uh, in an organization, though it was not a art library, it was one of the premier libraries in the city. I, you, I organized the uh, art Uh, the person in Kolkata, I forgot her name, some Mr. Kapoor, he was also invited um, and they made a, made such a good job. I was really surprised. We have given them some board, art board and uh, something, I don't know, those terms exactly what they use, color painting materials and uh, that art also. That promoted, you will not believe, that promoted our library's art section in such a way that all the books were vanished within a week from our library because all those artists came and there was a display of the, their work for a few days, six, seven days. That gave me the opportunity to promote the section of that, part of that particular section uh, to the visitors of that art gallery. And we have promoted our art, art gallery, art collection, books were vanished and we could enroll a good number of members also from that program. So you can promote, I don't know whether you have only art books or some other books also, but you have only arts books. This is one of the uh, one of the biggest opportunity that you can um, promote your um, collection. And again, I will say networking is important. Networking is very important. You have to make networking with those people who are involved in artwork. There are a lot of people in art. A painting, those, uh, you know, as per your collection, you make a network of people, all them once in your vicinity, and offer them a cup of tea, have a good discussion uh, with your head of the institution. I don't know, again, I don't know which institution you are belong to, but invite them. Uh, if you need help, we can always do that and uh, have a good program and see how it promotes. If it is, um, college or university library or academic library, I do not know, then uh, the books uh, will not go out. But if it is a public library, then you have always the opportunity to invite these people, involve them and have workshops, seminars related to art and see the result. You will see the result within a month, I can assure you. So this is the last question. I think we have to conclude. So Dr. Banerjee, please answer. And then we have to conclude the program. It is not a question. Internet or by readers, e readers. Yeah, it is true. It is true. Hundred percent true. Because um, e reading, uh, e reading and book reading, e reading and physical book reading, there is a big difference. You ask yourself if you read a physical book. You can even remember the title, uh, how long it took and uh, to, to finish that book. But when you go for a e-reading, uh, the, you know, it exists for a shorter period as compared to, as compared to the real, I should not say real book, but uh, the paper form of books. So uh, we have to conclude the program. Uh, I think uh, before conclude the program, uh, there is an announcement uh, for our next webinar. Our next webinar will be uh, on uh, 6th uh, September, uh, that is uh, next uh, Sunday. Uh, so uh, at 11 a.m., Professor Partho Sharati Mukhopadhyay will deliver the lecture on application of graph theory in cataloging. So uh, I think it will be the continuation of the our earlier webinars, webinars of library carpentry. So be with us in this webinar 
and uh, at that time we just want to conclude the program before we conclude we want to have a vote of formal vote of thanks from bengal library association uh, we express our sincere thanks and regards to our two speakers dr arun kumar chakraborty he is too busy now uh, during the webinar session and also dr shushant banerji uh, actually uh, both are the life member of bengal library association and uh, they gave us time to deliver this uh, lecture on the beautiful topic that is uh relevance of books uh, in the age of internet or maybe reverse should be reversed according to dr sushant energy but uh there is a promotion of book in the library that's the issue actually so um we express our sincere thanks and regards to dr urun kumar chakraborty and dr sushant energy for uh they are uh, just they gave us the time uh for this session and we express our sincere thanks and regards to i need library uh they have the collaboration with us we express our sincere thanks and regards to dr kp mojumdar honorable general secretary of bengal library association due to some technical problems he cannot join with us today and and last but not not the least we express our sincere thanks regards uh, to the participants from all around the country also abroad uh, participants from nigeria bangladesh are also there so uh, uh, with this we want to conclude the session have a nice nice day uh, stay safe stay home and that's all Thank you and Namaskar. Thank you, Jodi. Thank, Thank you, Jodi.